This is the plaintiff, Eve Davenport. She says the defendant's out-of-control beast of a dog jumped into her car, attacked her poor little defenseless dog, and mauled him. Her dog, Teddy, was horribly injured. Her vet bills are going to total $5,000. And that's just what she's suing for today. This is the defendant, Laura Lindsley. She says her dog and the plaintiff's dog were both in a parking lot and they got into a fight. The incident lasted all of two seconds. The plaintiff's trying to sue her for vet bills that are from 2012. And this frivolous lawsuit should be tossed out of court because it was filed in a bogus attempt to extort money from her, plain and simple. She's accused of failing to control her dog. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Eve Davenport, you are suing Laura Lindsay for $5,000 in vet bills and your projected future vet bills and mental anguish because her dog attacked your dog. That correct? is correct. Tell me what happened. It was Mother's Day evening, nighttime. I was walking my little five pound dog. Uh, I happened to go to my car in the parking lot to get something. I looked up out of the corner of my was eye. Was your dog on a leash? Yes, my dog was on a leash with his collar and his tags. I looked up out of the corner of my eye. I saw a woman come out of an apartment, and then I saw a dog. I didn't think anything of it at first. Then the dog started barking and charging at us. I had the door of my car open. I pulled my dog on the leash. I grabbed him. I put him on the driver's side seat. Before I could close the door, that vicious dog jumped in, grabbed Teddy by the head, pulled him out of the car, and started shaking him like he was a rag doll. My dog was screaming. I wanted to try to get the dog off of my dog. He didn't have a collar to grab him. I took my foot underneath the dog and just kind of said, come on, get off of him, get off of him. I could not push the dog off of my dog. Finally, the defendant came out. She just grabbed him by the scruff of the neck. She tried to pull them apart and finally got them apart. Then her dog turned around, reached up and bit her in the arm and she said, Scruffy, you bad dog. And then she profusely apologized. She said, I'm so sorry. My dog got out. Um, you know, he's already bit someone, and I don't want to get evicted from my apartment she complex. She told you that? Yes, that ma'am. he already bit someone? Yes, ma'am. And I said, I said, oh, you know, it's unfortunate your dog got out. Um, all I'm really interested in is paying my vet bill. And she said, that's fine. I'm happy to pay your vet bill. It took like, you know, like a, it was a 30 second conversation. Right, I understand. In those 30 seconds, when you look at your dog, what can you tell is wrong with your dog or you can't? In the 30 seconds that I'm having, that, the, her, boy, that her dog, excuse me, reached up and bit her, I didn't see my dog. I, when I looked back down after looking at her, I could not find Teddy. I was like, oh my God, where's my dog? My, my child comes out too, because she heard the screaming and she finds Teddy barely able to move, crawling in the dark, in the grass, bleeding and gasping for air. Okay. With that, we got... Uh, is there something wrong with you? Why would you think any of this is funny? Even if you think she's I'm not exaggerating... I'm thinking it's funny and she's lying. Okay, I understand that, but why would you be... I don't think it's funny I'm, Stop! Enough. I'm talking. Why would you think that there was anything funny about this? I'm not Go laughing ahead. at all. So, <clears throat> I went back, uh, I got the dog, we wrapped him in a blanket to stabilize him, we put him with my daughter in the back of the car. You took the dog to the vet, and I went you over, no, I went how over much to, in vet bills. I, I went over to her apartment and um, told her, my dog isn't dead, he's alive, he's gotta go to the doggy hospital now. She, she um, took out a, a, her visa card, then she put it back, and then she gave me her name and her phone number. Um, I took that, and I took the dog to the doggy emergency room. what they say was wrong with the dog? The dog suffered head and neck trauma, uh, trauma and swelling to his brain, eye injury, as well as contusions and puncture wounds on his arm and the front of his chest. Let me see the vet bills. Yes, ma'am. What happened? First of all, I was there the whole time this happened, and it was only about two seconds. The dog, my dog had her was dog. Was your dog on a leash? No, he ran out of the door because my girlfriend left the door open. And he ran out the Is door. Is it the first time your dog right gets out? I was behind him. There was was no it the first time your dog gets out? Oh, no, he's run out the door before, but this has never happened before. No, okay. he's never attacked any dog. Has but he attacked a person? 
Um, he had bit somebody when, when somebody was kicking him. Only. What happened was when that, when as soon as my dog ran out, I was right there. I ran out immediately after him. Okay. As soon as he grabbed her dog, I pulled the dog's mouth open, pulled her dog out of the of his mouth and threw and threw him under the car. That's why she threw th- who under the car. The dog. I you just, threw her dog under the car. I, I slid him under the like car so my dog, dog couldn't get him anymore. Okay, go on. I was trying to save the I saved the dog's life, ma'am. No. Yes, I you did. almost killed the dog by having your dog get out. That's not you saving that the dog's nice life. All like right, so you get the dog out of your dog's clutches and, and bowl him under the, the car, and what happens next? Onto the grass I put him. Okay, and then what happened? I grabbed my dog. I grabbed him like this. I said to the woman, whatever, take, please take the dog to the animal hospital, and whatever it costs, I will pay. Okay, but I why am I here then? Because you didn't, my you didn't she pay. She grabbed my credit card out of my hand, and she said, I'll keep this. And I grabbed it back, and I said, no, you won't. You remember that, So first right? of all, first of all, Baby. you see that? Hey, what are you to her? I'm on a husband. I just stand up. Out. Stand next to her, because you're going to have to rein her in. Come stand on, behind Come the lecture. I have anxiety. Mm-hmm. I understand. Mm-hmm. Take a deep breath. Stand Hysteria. behind the lecture, but you can't, in a Hysteria. court of law, get closer and closer and closer to the person mm-hmm. suing you. I'm sorry. You. I'm okay. not doing it on Now, purpose. listen to my question. If you agreed okay. to pay, why am I here? Why didn't you because pay? Because she sent me bills that I called the animal hospital. They said it was only $90, and she sent me bills that were over $4,000. Just a second. Where are the actual, what's what you actually paid, ma'am? $90. What did you? I need you to stop talking, and I need you to get her to stop talking. Stop talking. Okay, should this woman be allowed to keep the dog? No. Why? Because, I mean, the dog's repeatedly attacking people. Why would you want to keep the dog if it's attacking people? Yeah, but sometimes they say, well, I'm really, I'm really attached to the dog. Yeah, she should be allowed to keep the dog. I have a dog who's a runner. I just take good care of it. I make sure it doesn't run out of the house. But this woman doesn't make sure. Should she be able to keep the dog? Only if she's willing to make sure otherwise, then surely she should take the dog to a trainer, at least to make it... So is she irresponsible? If she's, if, yeah. she's, if she's irresponsible enough to go... Not is she irresponsible if it's getting out repeatedly? She's, she's irresponsible, therefore I don't think she should keep the dog. Okay, I finally got you to say that, didn't I? Okay, going inside the courtroom. What date did all this happen? May 11th? This happened on May 11th. Okay, so this one. Um, is it the 1,323? Yes, Your Honor. Okay. That. So where is the rest of this lawsuit where you're asking for 1469 or you're asking for future care 500, you're asking for 2200 for a CAT scan and $120 for therapy? That is correct. Yeah, where's, where <clears throat> the, do all these figures come in? Okay, because my dog is still having problems. Okay, hold on. I, I see that. Hold on one second. So it's the 1323 plus the $90 of... May 16th, which is four days later, and that might be where she got the idea that it was only $90. That's an additional $90, okay? okay. Yes, um, so what's the 500 that you're suing for? Future care, it says, but Future care. Because my dog now has to go see a canine neurologist, and it's been recommended that he have a CAT scan because he's still having ongoing problems, I want $500 for future care but, but of my you can't animal. just pull figures out of the sky. I need yes, you sir. to prove to me that you're entitled to $500 and an additional 2275 for a CAT scan and the 120 for therapy. I don't even know what kind of therapy that is. That's therapy for my child. That child? Yes, Your Honor. Psychological therapy over yes, ma'am. witnessing this? Or, yes, ma'am. Or because she was upset? The part that she witnessed was finding the bloody dog who couldn't breathe and... She picked him up, up and he was screaming second, that part and taking her to the okay. animal hospital. And uh, now she's afraid of going out in the parking lot. She has... How old are you? Twelve. Have you gone, have you gone to therapy over this? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you out of pocket that money? Did you bring proof of yes, it? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, I did. I, I asked you... I'm not going to ask you any questions. I just want to tell you something because I have a 12-year-old in my house. Uh, and I have teenage daughters, and I know uh, this happened to us. There was uh, the dog next door took the cat and in front of my children, did that animal kingdom swishing back and forth. It's a horrible thing to see. Um, mercifully, you didn't see that part. 
um, but you, you saw the aftermath and it's affected you. But what you have to know, the thing the law punishes isn't the dog itself and its behavior, it's the owner of the dog and what the owner fails to do. Like muzzle a dog who has bitten somebody before, which we're about to talk about, so get ready. Or keep the dog on a leash. There's things owners are supposed to do. So we punish the adult behavior. We don't punish the actual animals. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, sweetheart, go ahead and sit down. So did you find me something that says what I was looking for? This is yes, a $40 charge. And how does this answer me? That's the out-of-pocket expenses for therapy for my child. This is Were, the Was she going to therapy before this? No, Your Honor, only since the dog attack. OK. That's the paper from the um, canine neurologist. You took the dog there? I, as you saw, I took the dog to the vet and explained to her that we're still having uh, problems getting the dog to wear a collar, he's screaming, and he, you'll walk him and he stops and he just doesn't look right. And when I spoke with the doctor, he thought it would be very beneficial for the dog to have a cat skin because of the swelling and injury to the brain and the neck. And so the estimate is from 1500 to 2200 Yes, Your Honor. I would like that to be, be paid for. I, I want to do right by okay, my door. I understand. Now let me talk to you. She has handed into evidence a statement by a neighbor that says that your dog has bitten somebody else before. Tell me about that. Um, well, the neighbor that lives upstairs was talking to my husband outside, and they were fighting. The, I, my Wait, dog, were you there, or was it your husband who was there? We were both there. Okay. Was your dog on a leash? Yeah, oh yeah, he was on the leash at yeah, the time. Yeah, he was on the leash. He was, he was on the leash, and he was out. sniffing the dog. He was sniffing the person. The person kept kicking him, kicking him, get away, get away. And he nipped him, but he did not break the skin, to. and there was no report, there was no nothing. Okay, you said something in your answer to the complaint that because of her, you now have to board and train your dog. Yeah, my, well, I wanted to do that myself anyway. Oh, you think? Yeah, your dog yeah, needed well, to be trained for sure. I don't want my dog sure. to hurt anybody. Had, well, do dogs hurt two, uh, one her dog, dog and one person? Me three times. Your dog has bit me. Don't talk to her directly. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Just I'm me. sorry. I have my dog right now in obedience school for the past month. He's been in, in a boarding house. Getting, a be getting training. And I will never take my dog out without having a muzzle on him ever again. Okay. All right, here's what's gonna happen. I'm done listening, I've, I've got it. In the eyes of the law, when someone does you wrong, they are responsible for those damages that are predictable, that are approximately caused by what they did wrong. Okay? Yes, ma'am. But I cannot rule in your favor and make her pay for your daughter's therapy because her dog got out because it's not predictable that someone will have to go to therapy over something like this. So that, that is not a cost that's compensable. And the mental anguish is also not compensable. I know we think of the dogs as human beings and part of our family, but they're property. When somebody attacks your dog and injures your dog, it's really a property claim that you're making, okay? As for the vet bills of 1469, I am gonna order her to pay that. And as for the CAT scan that you want the, the dog to be able to have, I'm gonna order an amount, but it's not gonna be the amount that you're asking for. I'm gonna order an additional $1,500. That's a total of $2,969 in vet bills that I'm ordering the defendant to pay the plaintiff. That's my judgment. Good luck, folks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, come on over here. Um, just step over here, if you would. Your reaction to this verdict? I think it was fair. I think it was fair, and I, of course I would not let, I wouldn't want my dog to hurt anybody. Well, I will never let my dog out again without a muzzle. Well, that, that's a good way to protect yourself. But he is your... being trained right now. He's been in an obedience school for the past month. Right. And I'm, pay, I'm paying out the nose for it, but. Okay, all right, so you want to protect your dog as well as other of people course, too, and you're, of you're taking the proper measure. Okay, all right, well, good luck with everything and with Thank your you. dog. And, Thank you. Thank you. All right, head right down this way. All right, so step on in here and. You satisfied how this comes out? You stand right next to your mom. Um, yes. I, I think that the judge's ruling was very fair, and I'm very appreciative and thankful to People's Court for having us on. All right, so are you a little calmer now that now mm -hmm. this whole thing's over? All right? All right, good. Good luck, good luck with the dog. <laughs> Harvey? Thank you. Okay, it happens to a lot of people. If you have somebody in your neighborhood who does not control their dog, call your local Department of Animal Control. They can come out, they can investigate, and in a worst-case scenario for the dog owner, they can actually take the dog away.